Hey guys, Luma Llama here. I think that when using Procreate, uh, finger gestures are really important to know how to use. I'll go as far as saying that I think it's really essential to know how to use them. So I'm gonna go over some of the more important ones first and then followed by a few that you might not really know about. So the first one is pretty easy. I think most people know this. It's just the pinch to zoom and in and out. Uh, you can also kind of rotate your fingers to rotate the canvas. And then what you might not know is if you pinch really quick and let go, it will make the canvas fit uh, on the screen um, 100%. So if you're zoomed all the way in here and you wanna go back to normal, you can just pinch. Or if you're zoomed all the way out like this, just pinch and let go and it'll reset everything. So the next most important thing is undo. So say you make some brush strokes, all you're gonna do is tap with two fingers to undo. And if you hold down those two fingers, it'll actually undo multiple times. So it'll go all the way back. And I think it can go up to like 250 times back. Uh, and if you want to redo, all you do is you tap with three fingers and you can bring back everything. And you can do the same thing. You can hold down three fingers and it will rapidly redo. Next up, if you wanna clear a layer, whatever layer you're currently on, say you just wanna erase everything, you can just uh, put three fingers on the screen and then you're just gonna scrub back and forth really quick like this, and that will erase everything on the layer. If you do a three finger swipe down, that will bring up the cut, copy, and paste uh, menu so you don't have to go through the actual layers and go into it. It's a little bit easier to access that way. Next up, um, if you wanna get rid of the UI, all you have to do is tap with four fingers on the screen. And this is something I like to do at the end of my videos. Uh, usually I'll kinda just do the pinch thing to reset the canvas, and then I'll do four finger tap. And it's a nice way to end the videos. It's nice and clean. So this next one's not really a finger gesture, but it's good to know. So if you draw a shape, say you draw an oval, if you hold down the stylus at the very end of that shape, it will kind of auto-correct it to be like a smoother kind of a shape. And now you can, with the stylus still held down, drag and resize it. If you hold down a finger then, while still moving this around, it will auto-correct that to be a perfect shape. So it's a perfect sphere. And say you create a square-ish shape, same thing. You can kind of do that. And then if you hold a finger down, it will turn it into a perfect square. And on that same note, say you create an oval and then you let go. There's this little menu that pops up at the top called Edit Shape. And now you can click on that and you can change it to a perfect circle here or an ellipse. And you can even move around some of the control points to reshape it. All right, next up, uh, this one I actually just learned recently. So you can change the brush size here on the side, but what you probably don't know is if you have this held down and you drag the mouse or the uh, stylus out. Now, if you move up and down, it's going to uh, move it in really small increments. You can see the slider barely moving, so you can really fine tune uh, the values this way. And as you get closer back in, it affects it more and more. And next up, we have some layer gestures. So if you open up the layers panel, you can actually combine multiple layers just by pinching them kind of together. So say, for example, I have this layer and the one beneath it. All you have to do is pinch them and now they're combined. And you can do that with a bunch of layers all at once. So if I wanna combine all these into one, I can do that. And then say you wanna select uh, multiple layers. All you do is you can have one selected and then if you swipe to the right on any layer, it will select those layers as well. So say for some reason, if I wanted to just select these layers, I could do that here. And then you could group them, for example, and it will put only those selected ones into a group. So next is opacity controls. So if you go to a layer and you two finger tap on the layer, now it brings up opacity. So now all you have to do is slide left and right and you can easily control the opacity of that layer. If you two finger swipe to the right on a layer, it will turn it into an alpha lock, meaning if you paint on this layer, uh, whatever you paint will stay within the shape and will not go outside of the shape. Uh, if you want to select the contents of a layer, instead of going in here and clicking on the layer and clicking on select, like so, what you can do is 
you can just do a two finger hold on that layer and it will automatically select everything in that layer. If you wanna edit and change around these gestures and what they do, you can go up here to the wrench icon and just go to preferences and then go to gesture controls. And here you'll find tons of options for customizing it to your liking. Well, that does it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please like and subscribe if you liked it and we'll see you in the next video.